Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Q&A for today for The Walking Dead Season 7. This is after Episode 2. Topic of this one to start is going to be what we think about a Carol-Ezekiel relationship. And spoiler warning if you haven't seen episode 2 for The Walking Dead Season 7 yet. So I uh, was thinking about posting this video yesterday but decided I would uh, you know, push it uh, through till today. Uh, just because of course with uh, Halloween and trick-or-treaters and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, upload time. I was like, yeah, I'll just set it for tomorrow because, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys are having some fun out trick-or-treating with your kids or whatever you're doing. Uh, or partying or whatever. So uh, write in the comments below, what did you guys do for Halloween? Uh, I personally didn't do anything uh, interesting so I want to hear what you guys did so I can kind of live through you vicariously, right? Because um, <laughs> I just worked. Nothing special at all. Uh, it was fine. It was okay. I had some Halloween candy. That's 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 about it. So cool. Um, yeah, so first one for this one came from Jimmy Steamer 2. And he says, as if there was a first. Is there a Jimmy Jimmy Steam Jimmy Steamer one? Um, are you like Junior, Jimmy Steamer Jr.? Uh, hey, Trev. Uh, so, uh, you think we can see a relationship between Ezekiel and Carol later on in the series? Um, in, in episode two, I mean, it goes pretty quick. It almost feels like at the end, they're already beginning some kind of romantic relationship. The feel of the episode was so different for Walking Dead for episode two. It threw me through some kind of a loop. At the beginning, it's like, okay, we're Walking Dead. Then about halfway through the episode, it's just quite a bit different. You have even like... Uh, you know, the, the theme is different and everything, the medieval, kind of like you're at a renaissance festival or something. Uh, you have Ezekiel, you have Carol, and at the end, especially when he shows up with the uh, the tiger and everything at the door, and he's like, hello, you know. <laughs> um, and you hear Ezekiel roar, it's kind of like you have this, uh, and even the way like Carol looks at him to start, Melissa McBride, I mean, how could you not think that they're getting into uh, some kind of a relationship? And, uh, you know, she's impressed when Ezekiel shows her his, uh, his tiger. I mean, what woman wouldn't be? Uh, don't take it out of context. Um, <laughs> it's especially in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, having a tiger in real life is pretty cool. I don't know many people that have tigers. I think Mike Tyson, I don't know Mike Tyson, but I think he has, uh, I mean, I know of him. I think he has a tiger, or at least he did have a tiger. Um, it's not practical. I mean, who has a tiger? Um, but uh, it's pretty funny, man. It's, uh, it, it's a cool thing. So it's definitely a different episode than we're used to. And uh, I like to see an Ezekiel Carol relationship. The only thing I'm thinking about is what about Tobin? Because I thought that Carol was with Tobin before, unless that was just some kind of like little fling type thing. Um, do I think that Tobin is probably enough to satisfy Carol? Probably not, considering that, uh, you know, Carol's into, like, you know, all this crazy stuff, and she's had to murder tons of people and all this. I don't think she'd be able to relate as well to Tobin and even really show Tobin who she really is. Like, I get a sense that Tobin might have an idea about who she is, sort of, but I don't know if she's opened up that much to Tobin. And it seems like Ezekiel sees that right away. He's like, hey, what's that over there in the corner, that, that dark stuff? What's What's, what's going on over there? Uh, you know, he, he buys through it right away, and he questions her on it. He calls her out on it, and he happens to be exactly correct that uh, she's got some uh, she's got some skeletons in, in her closet. Um, so, you know, I like this. I like the kind of feel because they both have this parallel uh, between how they how they behave in a zombie apocalypse with Ezekiel being the leader and putting on this show and him calling, be I love the line, like, don't bullshit a bullshitter. I really liked how he uses that on her because it's like, you know, that's exactly what she's been doing forever. And nobody's called her out on it yet, I don't think. Like, has anybody, did anyone in Alexandria call her out on it? Not really, you know, not really like, no. So this is the first person that uh, that sees through it and, and kind of sees what's going on and is going to help her. And so I, I can't see it how they don't get into some kind of relationship or something. Uh, sorry, Tobin, but it looks like to me that's exactly what we're going to see. But you guys can write your comments below. Um, what do you think about a Carol Ezekiel relationship? I think it fits better than a Tobin Carol relationship because just uh, everything Carol has had to go through, it's just, yeah, Tobin is like, he's useful. He's a builder and everything. You need that. You know, and it's, you need guys like that in Zombie Apocalypse. Absolutely. But at the same time, it's like, Ezekiel, Ezekiel's got the cool factor, I think. I think that's what's going on. He's got the cool factor. So I think Carol's going to, Carol and him are going to hook up. I, I do think so. Uh, Natasha said, uh, do you think Carol will take over Michonne's role from the comic book storyline? So this gets into a little bit of spoilers with the comic books, but it's probably not a big deal if you don't, 
plan on reading them and you aren't behind. Um, you know, I mean, I've been reviewing the comics now for like, what, like six years now? Seven years. So uh, if you've seen my videos already, then you pretty much already know. Or if you've read it yourself, then you know. Um, but they won't translate that into the TV series. They can't because Michonne is filling Andrea's role from the comics in the TV series version by being with Rick. And it looks like now, I think you're right, Natasha, exactly. I think Carol is going to take Michonne's role from the comics. And if you think about it, she's already kind of started with that. And Ezekiel has kind of brought her back a bit. Now, will she kind of lose it again? You could see definitely her filling in that role from Michonne, where she kind of doesn't want to get too attached. And it's even more believable for... Carol than it is from Michonne in the comics because Carol loses everything. She loses her husband, even though he's kind of a dick, but he's still her husband. Um, you know, a father of her child. She loses Sophia. They, she loses her kind of um, a surrogate kids twice. <laughs> she loses Lizzie and Mika, and then she loses Sam, Cookie Sam, who she also didn't want to get attached to because she knew probably what was going to happen, but then she did, the cookies and everything. She still did anyway, even though she was rude to him. He was, she was just like a magnet. He was just glued to her for her cookies and everything and, and bugging her and talking with her and stuff. So it happened anyway. So you can definitely see from Carol why she wouldn't maybe want to get into too close of a relationship and why Ezekiel would try to kind of push that. So it's, it, it would be a perfect kind of magnet situation where, you know, she kind of pushes away, but then he, his skill, he's so good at convincing people to come back and you get this kind of back and forth where Carol wants to go and then, and then Ezekiel maybe takes her back a bit. Uh, it could work out perfect. So I think you're, uh, I think that's exactly what's going on. Uh, we'll see. I'm kind of more, for me, I'm almost set on it. I'd be surprised if they didn't do it. For me, what I'm most interested in now is like, are we going to see maybe a Daryl and Rosita relationship? Um, I think that'd be really cool. And the first episode of season seven just added to that for me with him kind of trying to defend Rosita. I did a video on that this summer, uh, Daryl Rosita. You can check the channel. It's in the channel if you're interested in watching it. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd like to see that. I think that'd be cool too. And it makes sense as well too, of course, now that, well, spoiler warning, Abraham's dead um, 100%. So it make, makes perfect sense. Um, but it even made sense after he left her anyway. Tyler Wilsey says, uh, next episode, just going to be about Daryl at the Sanctuary and episode four is when Negan goes to Alexandria. So I think you're right. I did a video on that uh, earlier today and uh, we went over kind of the uh, next few episodes, the descriptions and what they kind of look like. So we'll see what this first half feels like. Um, but I will say this. It seems like they certainly are pacing it out pretty good, you know. Um, they're making good usage of that comic book storyline. So check out the video if you guys want to see that. And we're, we go into more detail about that topic. Uh, Dylan Roberts says, uh, Hey Trev, uh, do you think All Out War will be this season towards the end or possibly next season? Well, I thought it was going to be this season based on previous season pacing. But now it looks like to me it's probably going to get pushed almost entirely into season 8 and maybe second half of season 8. Um, which is good long term for the show, but um, it won't be as exciting, I think, for viewers as it would be like a season three, for example, where they just go through tons of content in every episode. You're like, oh man, I remember reading this, and oh man, Rick's got the phone, and oh man, Lori just got killed, and oh man, he killed Andrew. <laughs> Look at all this crazy shit going on. Oh, the governor's here already. Oh my god, this is nuts. Um, Agur Masterson says, No, Negan took Ben's father hostage and is using him as leverage against the kingdom. That would be cool. That's response to the video I did yesterday on whether or not I think uh, Negan did Lucille, um, Ben's dad. And people did say that Ben is a character from the Walking Dead comics from the kingdom. So I stand corrected as far as that goes. Um, I just don't remember because there's so many characters. Even Kirkman doesn't remember, okay? <laughs> if you watch his interviews, he's like, what's that guy from Alexandria? In one of his interviews, someone in the audience is like, oh, it's Nicholas. And he's like, ah, Nicholas, that's it. So even he doesn't remember all the characters <laughs> from the comics because uh, some of them are hardly used, right? So, But it looks like the TV series version of Ben is going to be a lot different. And um, that'd be cool to see, Augur. I don't think that's what's going on. But that would be cool if, if Daryl, like, met his dad in a prison, in the cell or something, uh, you know, because he's being held captive, maybe if he met him or something. I don't think that's what's happening. I think that, um, I think they only did that, uh, or, or I think they only did that for Daryl because Negan knew he had to worry, he was going to have to worry about him. 
And because he knew that and because uh, Daryl stood up and punched him, he had to show that he had it under control. And as such, they took him as a, tr- a troublemaker and they took him off. I don't think they normally do that with every group and keep someone hostage. But uh, Rick's group is dangerous. They killed a lot of saviors. So uh, Negan's probably going to be extra careful with them, I would think, uh, compared to some other groups he's assimilated. I'd be more worried about Rick than I'd be worried about Ezekiel. Let's put it that way. Uh, especially when he has Daryl and before when he had, you know, Glenn and Abraham and everybody else. So uh, absolutely. Plus the chicks in uh, Rick's group are pretty tough, you know, compared to maybe the, the girls in, uh, well, they got the arrow. I don't know what her name is, but the girl with the, the, the bow and arrows uh, looks pretty tough. Um, but we'll see as, as time goes on. Um, we'll do a couple more. Kyle Allison says, Ben is definitely going to die. <laughs> he started to get friendly with Morgan. Morgan gave him his book. It reminds me of Noah and Reg. I just get the feeling he will die. I think you're right, Kyle. I think he's another one of these season characters, meaning he's probably going to be there for like, you know, half a season or a season, and then he'll be killed off. Just like Noah, just like some of the other characters in The Walking Dead that are there for like one season. Milton. Uh, I'm sure you can think of lots of others, too, that are season-based characters. Um, So we'll see what they do with him. Uh, But I'll be surprised if he makes it out of Season 7 alive. I'll say that. I'll be surprised if he makes it through both halves and he's still kicking. I'll be like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Let's see what they do with him. Um, But then again, they don't have too many characters that they're um, kind of focusing on from the kingdom. So if they kill off Richard and him, and they don't have too many others. Uh, Jerry, then then who else do they have? Um, Jerry! (laughs) They better not kill Jerry. Uh, and last one uh, is oh right yeah so this is for me and this is uh, so if an episode is slow don't give me flack for it I don't work on the show okay so yeah yeah so I made a note to myself for this one so I wanted to talk on this one for a minute Um, people hold me accountable when there's a slow episode of The Walking Dead it makes no sense okay (laughs) don't bitch at me because there's a slower episode of The Walking Dead I have nothing to do with it I don't work on the show okay (laughs) I think this is pretty obvious but I think I have to say it anyway I don't work on the show I have nothing to do with it I'm just you know this is like a fan channel right Um, you know where I like to review and talk about it with you guys and you guys do the same I don't work on The Walking Dead. I don't work on the show. If, if one of the episodes is slower, don't give me shit for it. I got nothing to do with it, okay? And it wasn't like I said in the predictions video. I did say that I thought it was going to be a bit of a more relaxing, slower episode after the crazy premiere. So um, as such, you know, I mean, it didn't, uh, it didn't surprise me too much. I was a little bit, I was expecting a little bit more. Um, and also the promo for this week uh, featured like the half season, didn't feature just the episode, probably because they couldn't find enough from just that episode to show in a promo <laughs> without showing the whole thing. I'm kidding. They usually do that. They usually show like a half a season or something sometimes. So uh, yeah, don't give me shit for it if The Walking Dead has weaker episodes. I got nothing to do with it. I'm not, uh, you know, don't deflect onto me. I got nothing to do with it. Anyway, um, you guys can write your comments below. Main topic, of course. What do you think of Carol and Ezekiel? Write in the comments. Tell me what you did for Halloween. And that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, like it. Thumb it up. Share. Favorite. And if you're new, subscribe. Bottom left. That's it for this video. Today, guys, we'll see you again soon. For another, as always, a trap. Same piece. Later, guys. See ya. You better subscribe.